Does your app actually work while you're moving? Because most no. of the XRs don't. No, it's staying on two. Reconnecting, it just keeps doing that. Yep, that's the XR that life. They still haven't fixed it. The plus worked fine. Uh, huh, Remember me having yeah, my plus? Yeah. You could do it whatever speed you were going and it would still work, but the Bluetooth app only works when you're stopped. Yeah, it's whack. So I have no idea why Future Motion hasn't taken the time to update that yet. I mean, I know they've been so focused on the pint, but this has been a problem for a long time. And it's really a bummer because I'd like to track some of my rides. They have a really cool app, but it just doesn't work with the XR while you're moving. And like, as soon as you go over a mile an hour, it just cuts off. You think with them being such a like technology advanced company that they would want that feature to work for people. Uh, does the pint have problems? I don't know so yet. I mean, I doubt that it would, yeah. but I don't know. It's a shame. It's something that they could do just over an update. So why they haven't figured it out yet, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's something to do with the Bluetooth module themselves that they put on these things, but it's a joke really when you're paying, you know, two grand for a device that you can't even get the full function out of it. But that's why we didn't pay two grand for them. So we'll take the loss on the Bluetooth function. Honestly, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's not that big a deal. Um, I like to be less connected anyways when you're on one of these things. So that's kind of the point. Like I should be walking. <laughs> getting there this stuff's flat though you can go fast yeah. And that's my least dominant side when I was learning. Like I, I can turn to the front easier. Yeah, I can too. Come on, cut it. See, the more you lean, the more you have to lean forward yeah. or else you'll cut out or drag the plate. So it's normal for your toes to come up when you're leaning, obviously. Oh well, yeah. That's why you want to be going faster. Yeah, see, it's a lot easier to turn like that. Oh, me. Yeah. Getting dizzy. All right. Non-adventurous Lexus here needs to take her dram of me before she goes out on her one wheel. I am digging the helmet though. The, the viewers will love that. Protection. Yeah. One thing that I've found with off-roading on the one wheel is it's all about carrying momentum. Like when you come up to a hill, you wanna carry your speed as much as you can so the motor struggles the least because it really doesn't take much to bog this thing down. So as long as you're carrying speed and keeping your center of gravity over the center of the wheel so you're not falling forward, and um, in the case that you do nosedive, you'll have it under control and you won't already be leaning forward. But that's what's really helped me in one wheeling off-road. it do 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 you think i'm ready for downtown yet? yeah <laughs> are you serious yeah you've done it before yeah well you know how you say the faster you go the smoother it gets but then i feel like i get to a certain speed and i get squirrely which i know is me it's not like you know well you're also off-road yeah i just you make it look like you are just like floating guess what what I have probably 250 miles more than you on a one wheel. See? Ah! So there's this big like stigma attached to the one wheel 
as far as it being dangerous but i feel like a lot of people just hop on these things and don't take the time to to learn and they just push themselves outside of their comfort zone without knowing it you know I mean. <laughs> like i don't know how to explain it i don't want to say it comes natural but if you have a background of snowboarding skateboarding action sports you're gonna pick it up easier i said it before the sensation that it gives me is snowboarding just with the carving and the way that you move and your one wheel reacts it feels like snowboarding it's not so much like skateboarding to me like i'll one wheel for a long time then i'll hop on a skateboard and it's like a foreign object like i have to relearn how to skate but what i'm trying to say is a lot of people are out there getting hurt on these things i feel like they're uncoordinated a they are pushing themselves too far you know past their limits uh, they don't know any better and i mean it's inevitable that you're going to crash at some point stuff happens i mean you can nosedive out of the blue the board malfunctions there's a bunch of hidden things in the road that you'll never see so it is it pays to wear safety equipment it definitely does but i also don't want people to like get scared of the one wheel like I know one dude who hopped on it and like within five minutes broke his collarbone. Well, dude, you had no business being on it, you know, without gear and without, you know, or being on, start in the grass, man. Like I start. Like, or I feel like if you're going that, you had to be going that fast to break your collarbone. Yeah. But, I mean, I would think. I guess, I mean, you can just fall wrong, but yeah. what, what I'm saying is just, people just like hop on these things like they're toys and, and they're not toys. I mean, there's a reason they come along with that price tag. They're toys, but they're big boy toys, and they're not to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Taken advantage of, I don't know. But they're not to be messed around with like nothing bad can happen. I mean, just be aware that, you know, you can get hurt. These things do 20 miles an hour. You add 20 miles an hour plus asphalt plus your head, you're gonna have a bad time. So just be cautious, ride your own ride, and enjoy yourself. Uh-oh, she's putting it in uh, one-wheel drive. Oh, right there. I just ran over that. Got some wheel slip, but you know, I was going about two miles an hour, so I was able to just step off, and I wasn't even expecting that, so. The more and more you ride these things, the more they become extensions of your body, and it, it's really just second nature to me now. My legs are sore. <laughs> yeah, they will be. Did you you think I can ride off of that bench? Yes. Here. Did you do legs at the gym? I did. Mm -hmm. You really think I can ride off this bench? I think so, because you're talented. I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's kind of sketchy. Should I be on the other side? No, you're good. Oh my God. <laughs> See, that was great. There it is. Can you ride down the stairs? <laughs> no. I'm trying to kill myself. I don't know what else I can do. I want to try to pop shove it again. I still haven't landed a really good pop shove it, so that's still on my goal of one wheel things. Ah. Oh, that, <gasps> oh, was, that so was close. Cool. <laughs> that was close. If it wouldn't have cut out, you could have kept it. I feel like the board has a hard time um, adjusting. Mine. Like, yeah. I see people do it all the time. So. See, it's like it, it doesn't know what to do, so it just yeah, stops. Exactly. So it cuts out. Come on, give her some goose. In the grass? Yeah. I <laughs> get so squirrely. My ankles feel like they're butter. Yeah, the looser you are, the better too. Keep a little bend in your knees yeah. and, and know, just kind of suck everything up into your legs. I had to keep, keep telling myself like to relax my muscles in my legs. I get tense. Big ball. ran the dog over there's some deer back there he's chasing days go ahead 
Yeah, he's good. You just pop your tire. Did I really? No. Uh oh. We're going through this grass. Yeah. Uh, you do you. Okay. Wasn't bad, was it? Yeah. Holy tits. There we go. It's the first time I've actually ever done this loop on the one wheel. I think I might have. No, I didn't make it that far on my plus, dude. I didn't even make it to the back pond. Oh, yeah, that's when you had to carry it back, huh? That was a full charge. I didn't even make it to the back pond and back. How Sorry, sad is that? I didn't mean to cut you off. Was that your GoPro? And the poison. No, I just have to wash it off really good. So, the first time that I took out my one wheel plus, I died about five minutes ago, I made it to that pond that we were just at. And I was at like 20% and I died like, less le than yeah, less than halfway back I died. So now I bet we're like at 90% still. Yeah, cause I checked it back there and I was at like 95. Yeah, so we're probably at 90% and we're what? Like three miles into it, yeah. not even. Yeah, for sure. So these things are just so much superior, like, the battery life and everything it makes it so much more fun that you don't have to worry about it now i can't touch anything because i just dropped the camera in poison ivy got to go back and wash it off whoa your ankles cracked me up holy sh holy sh come on go faster Trying to get you to bail on camera. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh! <laughs> you jinxed me. Look at them. Two lonely dead one wheels. <laughs> So what are your final thoughts on your one wheel? I'm in love. I can't wait to practice more and get a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> get more comfortable. What do you recommend to the people out there that want to try the one wheel and are scared to try it because they think they're going to get hurt? I say start out slow. Like I rode his for like four months just like practicing not like doing anything extreme just so I could get comfortable like getting on and off by myself that's I would say that's the major thing is getting on and off by yourself that you feel comfortable getting on it you know getting off of it properly absolutely because it's not like you're always going to have something to hold on to to like help your catch yourself or like get off but I think that's going to wrap up today's video I hope you enjoyed this is our first uh trail ride on the one wheels or ride ever together yeah. on one wheels so Look forward to more videos on that, more exploring. We'll go to some, let's go to the ghetto somewhere. Oh my God. Explore some urban oh areas. Jack. You're gonna get caught, I'm gonna get away. Hey! So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Plenty of other one wheel videos to come if that's what you're into. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you Tanner for the one wheel and we will <laughs> see you in the next video. Peace.